guys I'm just doing my intro for my video this is the finished look uh, so I just wanted to sit down and uh, try some new makeup with you I have melt I have milk I have benefit uh, I've got some random stuff I've got covergirl I've got Pacifica um, I've just got a lot of great stuff I've got makeup by Mario so I am excited to show you the stuff I have and how it applied I think it looked the finished look to me everything went on beautifully um, but you'll see uh, what I went through to get to this face so please stick around and uh, watch my little get ready with me of new makeup in my collection and happy 2020 Hi everybody, my first uh, beauty video of 2020 that I am actually sitting down and talking with you about. So this is going to be a get ready with me. Hopefully I remember to go back and do an intro where I don't look like this, but whatever. I'm not going to shame myself for looking like a human being who just woke up because that's what I am. Um, so this is going to be a get ready with me with makeup that I got for Christmas that I bought recently. Um, just a bunch of trying new makeup basically. Um, a lot of this stuff is not the new new. Um, so I realize I'm not the first person and I'm probably the very last to do some looks with these. But they're new to me and I want to use them in my collection and I want to show them off. So this is what we're going to do. So I have already um, done my um, under layers. So I've, I put a ton of oil on my face as my moisturizer this morning because my face was just feeling so dry. That's not what I normally do. I normally do like this four step thing, but uh, I got out of the shower and my face just felt so, so dry. And I have this um, sample packet of oil that I'd already used before. So I knew it was safe for my face and I just slathered it all over and just kind of use that. Um, I don't know how smart that is, but that's just the, the moisture that I was needing this morning. And uh, then I did put on some sunscreen already to kind of mattify. So if things don't necessarily stick or glide on the way that they might normally, that's probably why, because I didn't do my normal skin routine. Just um, And so I'm just sitting in my house right now because um, the snow apocalypse that we were supposed to have, we had last night. And... It's still kind of snowing, it's still kind of icy. I'm not going anywhere, I'm just sitting in here trying new makeup and I went out to shovel snow off of my porch for about three seconds and then came back in. Which is why I put the sunscreen on because I had to go outside. If I wasn't going outside today, I probably would not put it on, but I would, I don't know, I might either, but put sunscreen on is basically what I'm saying. Anyway, this is my sunscreen. It is the La Roche-Posay uh, 60, the uh, Enfilio 60. This is the one that I use. It's $30, it's expensive, but it is amazing. And I love it. Um, it just kind of mattifies the face and makes everything smooth. And then your primer goes on top and all of that. So let me show you some of the products that I'm gonna be using today. I The main thing that I want to use today is the Melt Cosmetics Muerte Palette the, uh, from the Amor Eternal collection. Got this for Christmas from my mom. I, this was, I would have been happy if this was the only thing that I got for Christmas. This just, it makes me so happy that I have this palette. Um, it is sold out now on Sephora, I believe. I don't know about the other, I don't know about the Melt website. Um, if you can get it anywhere else, but I was just so happy. I believe my mom had to go in and get this in store because by the time I asked for it, it was already sold out online, but I know my local Sephora did have it. And this is just one of those palettes that for the, f one of the first times in 2019 last year, I just could not stop thinking about. And I am not into skulls and roses and, the, and all of that, but it's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. The design is beautiful. Look at all the raised details. And I didn't jump on the melt train when this came out. I was kind of like, yes, it's beautiful. I love the colors, but I've heard so many people have issues with melt shadows and that they pop out and that they're not the most stable and that the stacks are better or maybe they're not. 
I, I just didn't know what to think. I just felt like when this came out, it was like, yes, that's beautiful. I don't know if it's worth $58. So <laughs> to get it as a gift, I'm ecstatic. Um, and <sighs> let's just, it's still got the plastic in it. And we've got the beautiful mirror right there. And these beautiful colors, right? I am just, look at those. So, so beautiful. I haven't even swatched these yet. I'm so excited to use them today. Um, these blues just look amazing. The reds look amazing. The turquoises look amazing. Just, I... And I've seen uh, videos of people using them. I've heard that they're not the most amazing shadows in the world, but they're not bad shadows either. So I am super excited to have this color story in my life. And then I also did ask for Christmas for the set of the, what is this, the Milk All Stars set. It was this little like $40, $50 set of all of the greatest hits of Milk. So you've got, let's get this out of here. You've got the Grip Primer, which I really, really like. I've used before. The Glow Oil Stick, which I haven't tried and wanted to. It's got the Matte Bronzer, which Jessica Braun has talked about that I really wanted to try. It's got an Illuminating Highlighting Stick. It's got the Kush Mascara, which I've used. It's got the Cooling Stick, which I've used. And then it's got a Watermelon Serum. So I'm going to use some of these, not all of them. I'm not going to use the Mascara because I have used that. And I'm using another one right now that I, I don't want to open this one right now. So I'm going to use the new-ish one that I also have. But um, I'm definitely going to be using the oil, glow oil, what is this called? Glimmer glimmer Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. So this is what, what uh, I don't remember what shade this is. Um, but it's a nice pretty little red. But it's, it's actually very, I've swatched it and it's very, very not. It's glittery, but it's not super pigmented. Uh, I am going to be using a little bit of this illuminator on my cheeks. And then I'm going to be trying, oops, get this out of here. I'm gonna be trying the bronzer. I've already nicked some of these um, by swatching them, but that's okay. I haven't actually put them on my face yet. Really excited to try this and see how well it does. I love this primer. I love this primer. I love this primer. And um, I'll probably use a little bit of this cooling stick because I do like that too. I think I'm just not going to use the watermelon or the mascara. I'm not really into watermelon scents and I don't really know what it's for other than it's a serum and a stick. So, but I love the pretty little bag and I love the presentation. So I am super, super happy to have gotten this set. It looks really, really worth it. Um, so we've got those products. Now I also, for Christmas, got Cookie from Benefit. People have been raving about this shade since it came out in those six packs and those three packs, and then it finally came out last year in this little single. And here we have, of course, it just says Cookie on top. And then look at how freaking beautiful that is. I, again, haven't swatched this one yet. Really looking forward to using it. I think I'm going to use that over the Melt Illuminator and see how that goes. Face products are pretty much going to be the same as I have been using. Um, I'm going to be using the Pacifica A Light Foundation mixed with the Light Illusion uh, Foundation from Flower Beauty. I like this combination. This is a nice foundation. It's just a little too drying for me. This tends to make it a little bit more hydrating and I mix them together and the shade is fine. It's a little bit light, but it's winter, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, for concealers, I'm using the uh, number seven Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. This is a really nice brightening concealer and con concealing concealer. Um, and then the Smith & Colt uh, Canceled Concealer. Uh, this is just nice for sort of an all over um, sort of canceling of redness. It's not super, super opaque. Um, but it does mix well with other things and I do like it just as another layer on top so and this one is quite warm as you can see this one's quite cool they end up working together 
And for my powder, I'm going to be using this little guy. This is a mini of the Veil Translucent Setting Powder from Hourglass. I got this as a perk or a perk or a coupon. Co wow. Perk or a promo code from my last Sephora order. Really excited to try this. I love Hourglass. I love Hourglass stuff. Um, and then for my mascara, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I finally got on the Exhibitionist train. Now that CoverGirl is cruelty free, I'm a little bit bet, um, I'm a little bit easier about using them. I'm still not insanely happy with them being owned by Procter and Gamble, but at least they are cruelty free now, and people rave about this, and I have been liking it. I've been liking it more than the ColourPop one. I tried the ColourPop one last year, and I don't know, I was either allergic to it or it just didn't do well on my eyes. I just, I didn't, for six or seven dollars or eight dollars, whatever it was, it was fine, but I think this is just about the same, maybe it's 10 or 11, and it doesn't make my eyes itch, so yeah. <sighs> All right, and then for lips, I have this, I have to take the plastic off, but this is one of these Sephora Lip Stories. This is one of their newer shades that they've just come out with this year or last year, end of last year. It's called Snuggle Weather. They came out with a bunch of um, sort of more terracotta-y, orangey ones in the fall, I think. And I love this Lip Stories line. I just absolutely adore it. I would have every single one if I could. I don't need every single one, but they're $8. I've had one for about, what, a year and a half um, that I took to Europe with me, the one called Brunch Date and the one called We, and I love those. I am almost out of them. Um, that's how much I use them. So if I can figure out how to get this off, I will. But I love the cardboard packaging, and I love the formula of these. Got the little, like, leaves on it. Again, this is called Snuggle Weather, and then it's this sort of dark, is it a cream? Yes, it's a cream. Haven't used it yet. Looks beautiful. Looks like it'll go very nicely with this whole sort of theme that I've got going on. Um, hopefully all this stuff works together. I don't really know. And then uh, I recently got in another, Sephora, in the same Sephora order, in the Sephora order I just made, I got the Makeup by Mario Times Sephora brushes, and I've already, you can see it's got a little bit of stuff on it because it's that, that matte cardboard, um, and you open up like this, and I've already taken out um, the brushes and put them in the little thing in here, so you got Mario on the inside telling you about his inspiration and how he worked so hard to create these brushes. I don't know about that, they kind of look like the regular Sephora brushes to me. Um, but, you know, you get the thing, the little envelope case here, and then I put these all in here. And these are, this is the eye brush set. This was $49. It's crease, um, detail, shadow, smudge, and then this is an eyebrow brush. I would definitely need to use it as an eyebrow brush. It's way too stiff to be any kind of liner brush. Um, so I'm going to be using these and then my normal face brushes down here. And then I've got a couple other things that I might try. Um, I have two little samples. I have one of the Betty Boop times Ipsy um, eyeshadows, and I'll just show you the color real quick. It might go with the eyeshadow. It might, it might not, but it's this beautiful um, purpley iridescent shade. And um, that is the cover. And then I have a little sample of Tarte Park Avenue Princess, which I've not tried before, which, but which I do want to try. And that is what it looks like. It's a bit, sh looks like it's a bit shimmery. I've never used it before, so I don't know. But I did get those um, gifted to me from my sister who gets Ipsy. So these were both Ipsy samples. I don't get Ipsy, but she does. And she's kind enough to give me the samples that she doesn't think she's gonna use. So as a makeup addict, I am ecstatic about that, so. All right, now, what are we gonna do first? First, 
I've already done my SPF and now I am going to do my prime. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is the, um, I don't know, does it have CBD in it? I can't remember. It's got hemp seed oil in it. <laughs> okay. Wow. You guys have no idea what I just went through to get product out of this. It was not coming up. It took me legit five, 10 minutes and I had to get a pliers and twist it to get, wow, wow, just wow. But that was how determined I was to get something out of this. Uh, I knocked my camera over. I may have swear, swore a few times. I just, wow. But yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna put that on. I need to move my mirror closer so I'm not always just oddly staring at the camera, but you know. All right, I just, I knocked everything over so I may have lost a few things. I, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. All right, put some down there. That was, that was not what I was expecting and that was an adventure and now there's kind of like little little plier marks all over the plastic, which isn't great, but at least it's not broken and I can get to the product. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow, okay, yeah, that, that, was, that was stressful. That was a little bit stressful. We're gonna put the cap back on, put that over there. Yeah. Okay, keep this over here. I want to do my brows. So this is one of my favorite products of 2019. This is the, I don't know if it came out last year or 2018, but this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel, the color Caramel. Um, you can see it's well loved because all the gold is coming off of it, but you can still see the, the black lettering on it. Again, this is the color Caramel. I really, really like this stuff. It makes my brows so easy to do, and I do love this color Caramel. I love the, um, I love the pencil, um, but that's $23 and um, lasts me about a month. So yeah, um, this was what, $18 I think. And seems to be lasting me significantly longer. Um, it is a bit messy as you can see. I just clean it up. Um, and I take a lot of product off um, when I first take the brush out of the bottle. So, um, but I really do like it. And I do like my brows to be a bit darker um, than my hair, just cause they are so blonde and well, like that needs, yeah, that's definitely gonna get cleaned up. But yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, this, this is a really good product. Whether I'm using it right or not, that's debatable, but I find it to be a really, really good product. If you don't like the way I do my brows, that's cool. Just keep it to yourself. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to start with um, eyes first because I think the shadows have a bit of fallout from what I un understand. So I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. Uh, we can argue about, actually, let's not, let's not argue about Wet n Wild in the comments, but, um, uh, not the most, um, popular brand with cruelty-free people right now, um, for a good reason, but they still make a good eyeshadow base, so I'm going to keep using it. Uh, it's too bad, though, I did really like Wet n Wild for a long time there, and I was, really, really into their products, but um, I mean, this is a $5 eyeshadow base, so I'm not gonna throw it out. And let's see, what are we gonna do to set? I don't really have a setting shade in here. I think we'll try the Hourglass Translucent Setting Veil and see how that works to set the eyes. I'm gonna take the little sticker off of here You know, I'm all flustered, and this is all going to be a packaging opening nightmare um, of me just fumbling around and spilling things. And Oof. 
breaking things and but it has the little the little H in there that you can see just got it on my little Mario thing um, and let's see I have this little little techniques brush I'll just put that over to set the shadow set the base not the shadow Not the way I would normally do it. I'd normally just take a light colored shade. Something like um, Brulee from Wet n Wild or uh, Fresh from Anastasia and Set. But I don't really have that color. I don't really have a, a base color in here, which is fine. Not every palette needs to have one. Um, this definitely is not a setting shade. It is a very chunky uh, it's, it's Junky Monkey, because um, I went and, uh, when I first went in and saw this in Sephora, I could not help myself, like a makeup newbie, I went and swatched every single color in this shade, or in this palette, and I had blue and purple and red and Chunky Monkey, whatever this is, Kalaka, all over, and um, I, 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 I made a mistake, but it was goodness, it was worth it, because I got to swatch these and see how magical they were. So I'm going to take my Makeup by Mario brushes. I feel so fancy. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to start with here. Hmm. I'm going to start with Corazon. This bright, bright red shade and see how that works in the crease as I knock everything over. That is the first little, I'm just going to use this real lightly. Interesting to see how these will blend. I've heard different things about how they blend. Um, definitely pigmented. Um, that's just a little, little bit. And wow, that's, that's really pretty. Um, so yeah, and these brushes are really soft, which is nice. No fallout that I can tell. Just nice and nice and red in there. Not normally a look I would go for, but we're, we're going with red today um, in the crease. And I like how it kind of transforms on the eye into like almost this like purpley pink. It depends on what light you're in. I think if you're seeing me straight on, you're definitely seeing the red and the more pinky in the red. But over here, like in the in less light, you're seeing a little bit more like purple coming out in it. All right, well, let's see what we're going to do next here. I think I'm going to take Noche Eterna, this matte dark blue, and put that on the outer V with this little detail brush. See how that works. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, wow, pretty. Wow, wow, wow. This is not the most precise application in the world because I'm looking in like three different reflective surfaces, so bear with me, but I am just kind of marveling at the color right now because, wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. The lovely shade to use um, for like a halo eye in her outer corner with something beautiful in the middle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Just a little bit up there and a little bit more. 
along the lash line and then wing it out a little bit a little bit smoky all right Let's see if i can do that on the other side i like the detail it is a detailed brush obviously but i like the point on it i like how precise it seems to be It's showing a little bit more starkly contrasted in this light, but close up, it's, well, really beautiful. Okay. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Sangre here. This one, Sangre. Um, and on the same brush, um, forgive me for mixing the brushes, but I kind of want to blend um, some of this up here. The blue into the red. I really need to invest in a color switch. But I also have a lot of brushes. I just decided not to bring them all out today. I like the way that goes together. Put a little bit down here. That's pretty. I like it. It's pretty. Could be a bit more blended, but I think that's more a me thing than of uh, these shadows thing. I've heard that they don't blend the best, but again, I am not a master makeup blender, so um, I like that. I like that together. I think that's really pretty. Then top it with some Alagrimas right here. I'm going to use this all over shadow brush. And again, this is a matte shade. You can see right there. Ooh, pigment. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I love. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Pigment, pigment, pigment. I love it. I know I should not be this amazed by eyeshadows, but I am constantly amazed by eyeshadows. Wow, that's gorgeous. That, oh, I literally like that. I really love a turquoise, and this is like a true turquoise eye um, with a bit of a red or peachy um, crease. Uh, it's just a thing I like. I know some people hate, hate that, but I, I, I'm all about it. So, And then I'm going to top it with this Angelito right here. This is the shimmery one. I'm just going to use my finger. It's a little bit gritty. It's not super soft, it's gritty. There's a bit of shine there. It's not making a huge difference. I think it is uh, make, giving it a little bit of dimension. I don't know. But not like sixth and seventh dimension crazy, like out of there. It's just a little bit of shine. And as I dig into it a bit more, it's coming up a bit more and it looks really beautiful. Um, Down 
towards the inner corner a little bit more. I think I'm going to do a little bit um, on the lower lash line. I don't normally do the lower lash line um, because dark circles um, and staining. Yeah, stains. Um, but I am going to use this little smudge brush. And I think what I'm going to do is go into hmm, Duelo. Right here, Duelo. Put that under the eye. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to go too hard with that. It's just to give my eye a little bit of definition so it's not just super colorful on top and then just sort of fades away into nothing on the bottom. And then I think I'm going to go into a bit of Katrina right here, this sparkly dark blue. Same brush, just put a little bit of that on the center there. Shades are really, really beautiful. Lashes. This is again the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Um, the cap just came off. That's just apparently that's that's just my day today. Okay, put it back on. All right, but it does have the little hourglass shape right there, and I just take the excess off. And I hope this doesn't fly out of the cap while I'm uh, putting it on. There's so many interesting things happening this morning with my makeup. But I'm glad that I finally get to use this palette because these colors are gorgeous. Um, even if you don't think this is the best combination of colors I could have used, um, I'm just really happy with the way that they look and the way that they go on. All right. And if I still had my beautiful Prance eyeliner from ColourPop, I would use it, but it dried up long ago, so I think I'm just going to leave it. A little bit of sparkle under the eyes from Katrina. Oh, it looks so pretty. Pacifica, a light clean foundation. This is in 38NF. And then the Flower Light Illusion Foundation in L1, I believe. This is the lightest shade, and this is a very light shade. Um, and then I have sprayed my Beauty Blender, with my Real Techniques Blender, with MAC Prep and Prime. Um, because there's like this much left, and if I try to spray that on my face, I just get gross. Um, so I'm just going to use a pump of this. and a pump of this. And mix it together on my face. Foundation, now we go in with concealer. So I'm gonna go in with the Smith & Colt Cancelled Concealer just on the center of my face. As you can see, this is much more yellow. I can kind of use it as like a highlighter. I mean, not a highlighter, but just to lighten up some of the blueness and the redness in my face.
And then the number seven Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer, um, which is a really nice concealer. Reminds me a lot of the Flower Beauty Concealer. And I think I'm actually going to go back to that one when I'm done with this one, just because they remind me so much of each other. And this one is, I think, $14. But this one's just a really, the, the color is nice, canceling out the redness and stuff um, and the dark circles and brightening a little bit. And I do have two blemishes, one here, one here. I don't know, it just decided to be like that. <clears throat> that on my hands so thing I hate about foundation is that or at least using a beauty blender or a blender sponge is that foundation just gets all over your hands and then it gets all over everything else that you touch so and then all the labels start melting off of your makeup and it's just like eh, whatever all right so next I'm going to use the milk bronzer this is the matte bronzer in baked and just a little plastic cap on it take it off without breaking it again this one really wants to stick on here all right as you can see i've already taken a huge chunk out of it oh well um and i'm just going to i don't like this piece of hair in my face all the time this little guy buff it in probably a bit too far down and it seems to blend in nicely for how much was on there Take a little bit up top, nose, chin, a little bit more down here. What am I doing? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Nice little tint to the face. I like it. I like it. Not too heavy. So far, so good. Matte stick bronzer. Impressed. Now, let me try a little bit of this Park Avenue Princess. Put that over a little bit. give it a little bit of a sheen I don't know if any product is actually coming up out of this that's what it looks like I probably should have used this before I put on my concealer so apparently I'm not gonna use this sorry I do like it though there is a wet n wild dupe for it that is also just as good um, I don't know if they're still making it but it came with that little 80s workout collection that they did last year um, but this is very nice, a bit expensive for what it is, and it doesn't last incredibly long, but it is nice and cooling on your under eyes. At least it was the last time I tried it. I want to use this little guy right here. This is the Glimmer Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. Here is the product, and I'll do a little swatch. As you can see, it doesn't get super opaque. It's just, I mean, you can make it a bit opaque but it's not really super opaque so I can use a bit of that on my cheeks Ooh. 
what what what's happening there and there is sparkle in it i don't know if you can see that in the light but there is a little bit of it's not not heavy glittery sparkle but there is a bit of shine so And you can use a bit on your lips if you want, I guess. Yeah, it's a lip and cheek. So I guess after putting it directly on my cheeks, maybe, I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna put a, on my, put a little on my lips. Just to prep them a little bit. And as you can see, there's not a ton of tint here. And then I'm gonna use a bit of the little highlighter here and just apply that directly up here and that definitely has some glitter to it definitely has some glitter to it See the there's definitely some shine in there some pieces of glitter but we're gonna take a cookie and we're gonna try that out on the cheeks and see how that goes with this illuminator Ooh. 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 that is so pretty yeah I just said that really weird like the crypt keeper but wow That's super gorgeous, super shiny. Super almost, I mean, not, I mean, maybe kind of glass skinny. I mean, glass skin is like a totally different thing, but it's definitely, definitely got the shine on. Oof, 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 I, wow. Wow. And I love a wow highlight, okay? There are days when I go for a more subtle highlight. There are days when my Berlin Girl Glow is all I need, but this is like, whew. Give it to me. I love it. So pretty. I didn't get a chance to use the little Betty Boop again, if you didn't see it in the beginning. I don't know why you wouldn't have, but that's the color. It actually would not have been a bad choice to like um, maybe put on the outer or inner part of the lid, but I think I'm just not gonna not gonna mess with this right now. Um, I'm liking how it looks. And oh, I did forget that I was going to put a bit of cookie on the inner corner. Ooh. <sighs> Whoa, yeah, okay. Yes, it's just so wet looking and gorgeous. Oi, 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 beautiful. All right, and to top it all off, we are going to use the Sephora Lip Stories in Snuggle Weather. Again, this is a cream and one of my favorite formulas. It is one of the more like traditional waxy lipsticks Hmm. Very sort of brown, cool tone mocha y. Cool tone? I think so. Very, very brown mocha y. Still has some dryness down here. That's why I put 
a metric ton of oil on this morning. And then I'm going to set everything with the Hourglass Veil Finishing Powder. I probably should have done this before I put the um, lipstick on, but I'm all out of order today. I'm just liking, I'm just liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking trying all of this stuff. So I'm gonna put that under the eyes. A little bit over the cheeks. Forehead. And this is a really nice powder. I mean, duh, it's hourglass, but you never really know. You hear different things all the time. Take my pin out of my hair. So I like so I like the setting powder to set everything down, put all the stuff in place, and then this just gives it a little bit extra hold. Dewy Set is my favorite setting spray. I do like the MAC Fix Plus, however, I don't like this version of it on my face um, for a spray. I do like the coconut one uh, a lot, but I actually like this one better, um, and it just works better for me, and um, it just seems to make things last a little bit longer, or at least not break things up. And the spray is really, really, really nice. And it smells like coconut. <sighs> After that is dried down a bit, I'm going to add some perfume. Um, I have just got another of the replica perfumes. This is a little travel size. This is the new exclusive one to Sephora. It is replica. It is springtime in a park. It's, I, I don't normally like fruity, Florally, I like florally, but not fruity, sweet stuff, but this is excellent. I believe the little label says it's inspired by uh, China in 2013, walking around a park and all the smells, and it's it's really lovely. So um, again, this is the exclusive to Sephora version, and I love the replica scents. I have a bunch I'm adding to my collection this year. I like to try the travel size because um, they're 28 to $30. Um, but I just recently ordered one of the large ones because you can't get it in the travel size. <sighs> that was a lot of money. Anyway, I'll probably do a little bit of a haul when that comes in or another makeup look. That is really, it's, it's, Sweet without being cloying is what I'll say. It's it's sweet but in in a mature way. What can I say? Um I didn't really talk too much about my channel. I didn't really talk too much about anything that's going on right now. Um makeup is just my escape from all of the stuff that's going on in the world. There's so much going on right now. Um and this is just my chance to sit down with you and show you some stuff that I'm really loving right now. Uh, I hope it doesn't come off as too silly. But what do you know? It, it may, it may not. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I am so, so happy that I got to use my Melt Muerte palette. Look at how pretty that mirror is. In the pretty shades. Uh, I got to use some of my milk products, my milk stick products, cookie, oh my, oh my, oh, oh my. Uh, this beautiful addition to my lip stories, uh, I finally got this open, <laughs> that was a, wow. Um, and then this looks, this is really, really nice. Um, I don't know if I would pay for the full size, but you know, I like it. And then of course these brushes, um, are really, really nice. Um, look, they're Sephora brushes. They kind of look a bit like the 
Sonia Kashuk brushes from Target. It's kind of, but I mean, they're soft. They work. Uh, it's a $50, it's $50 for five brushes, $10 a brush. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for Sephora brushes because they can be pretty expensive. Uh, they're not the tallest brushes. Um, they're kind of almost travel size, but they're pretty and so far I'm liking them. First time I'm using them. A lot of, I'm using a lot of this stuff for the first time. Some of it I've used before, some of it I haven't. Um, but for the first time I'm using these eyeshadows, wow. Uh, first time I'm using that highlight, wow. First time I'm using that bronzer, wow. Excited. And I hope you enjoyed seeing me use some new products. And um, I hope that you'll join me for the next video. Happy 2020. Let's go into it with a positive attitude. I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, but let's just stay positive for all of our mental health. And I hope to see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.